I truly hate this weather. I hate gloomy, rainy days. And we've had them all week long. And it's really taken a toll on me. Ugh. I couldn't live in one of those places that rains all the time. I just, I just don't think I could. Um, not a whole lot going on this week. Last two days of, of cards canceled except for Woodbine. We get to watch Stay, Stay Special race, but Stay Special look a little flat. Pretty hard to train them up tight <clears throat> in this weather. And I know the fair statement would be, well, everybody has it. You're right. Um, but Stay Special seemed a little flat to me last night. Was it a shoeing? Was it the week of preparation? Who knows? She wasn't horrible. She was just flat. Um, everybody else, for the most part, was canceled this week. Oh, my God. Look at the back track. So the front track at Northfield Park has been closed for three days for three days straight. No. For three days straight. So everybody's on the back track. Uh, and it is, I'm looking at it now, just a mud pit. Ugh. Disgusting. So, um... Not a lot going on this week. Just got our boy, as I said, three-point blue chip tonight. We had a long-awaited return for him. We have uh, Stay Special that raced last night. We have some horses in Monday. Kings County, Renegade Gypsy, Spitfire Overseas, Locatelli, White Tiger. Proud of myself. All five of them. Just wheeled them right off. Um, they're all racing on Monday. I don't believe we have anything Tuesday. Wednesday's a little soft coming up this week. These are the races that are drawn. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, we get nothing at the Meadows. We have two to qualify here, and no Snap You, and uh, no Chance in Hill. And then Wednesday evening for the late double. Last two races of the card, we have uh, What a Mission, who drew the rail, wasn't a great spot for him to be in, but has now drawn the six hole, I think five, six hole. That's a good spot for him. Unfortunately, Walter's keepsake has moved from two to eight. Uh, that's not cool. But what are you going to do? Thursday, we'll have a number of horses in. At uh, Look at the mud. Oh, my God. There's Wander Hill. Um, Thursday, we should have four or five in at the Meadows. Uh, Friday, a couple in at the Meadows. And again, some horses in at Mohawk on Thursday also. So trying to move the horse around, but got to get them raced. Uh, a frustrating week. And I think the thing that makes this week the most frustrating is that we have to do it again, right? This is March. This is a March day. This is a March week. Couldn't race. Track was bad. Eh, the frost is coming out of the track. It happens. That's March, not January. So uh, historically speaking, we're going to go through this again in March. And that is every bit as frustrating to me. Um... So today, uh, in the video today, not a ton to talk about. I, I can't really update you on the babies. Um, it's the end of the month, I suppose. I can grade everybody. I think I can do that. That would be fun. Uh, we'll grade everybody here in Ohio and the horses in Ontario. I've got a pretty good look at everybody now. Um, I'll talk about the staking today, too. I had six, I think, six horses that were a little tricky. Uh, you know, Ohio's easy. Regionally staked. It's easy to stake them in Ohio. It's, you know, Ontario, mostly Ontario. You know, a horse like maybe Princess Dream, we had staked her to the, maybe the Breeders' Crown or something like that, but not too many of them. Um, and then again, over here, uh, Pennsylvania, a little trickier because Pennsylvania, the cool thing about Pennsylvania, it's a double-edged sword. It's done early, so there's lots of staking. There's lots of staking after Pennsylvania. So do you use it? Do you turn them out in the field? Do you stake them to something late? Um, last year we'd staked a number of horses to the races in Indiana, but I guess truthfully speaking, a lot of that was because that's where the Breeders' Crown was, and um, those races were interesting. Are they less interesting now that the Breeders' Crown's going to New Jersey? No, I, I don't know if they're less interesting. Um, it's a different timetable. It's a different look, I, I guess is the best way to put it. But what does that mean for... Uh, what does that mean for our horses? So, just a lot to talk about. Uh, I think we have, what, 55 babies, and we have close to 100 horses, for sure, to stake uh, starting in March. So, a lot are starting in February. A lot going on, a lot to talk about, but it won't be as complex. The more complex horses will be like Arson, uh, Pickpocket, Memory and Imagination. These are horses we've already talked about inside the groups. I sent notes out to everybody just saying, what do you think? But, as usual, our clients are pretty much in lockstep, you know, with what with what we had outlined and, and the projections I had made. 
um, which is interesting. So it's just a matter of uh, getting, how I usually stake the horses is, I'll get on the phone with Jim at Joanne Staking for an hour and a half, and we'll talk about every horse, we'll put them, kind of put them down in pencil form, Jim will compile everything and send out that report. I'll take that report, and then we'll start to make changes on the report. Um, you guys should be able to get into Joanne's and see those staking reports soon, if not now. I'll have to ask Kelly and uh, Jim about that. So you can follow along and look, uh, but I'll give you a heads up today, a little look at what we're trying to do today, a little rough estimate. And then um, after we've made our, our first changes, we'll submit that form. And then we have up until maybe the 10th or 12th of February to lock that in type thing. And, and I, I, I'm pretty confident in what we looked at so far. March is going to be much more extensive and uh, much more painful. Uh, financially for sure but February wasn't too bad I think uh, in what I went over with Jim yesterday so um, that's what's on tap for today I'll get to the videos in a little while I think we're short of caretakers so I'm gonna have to go in and actually do some work today um, getting some horses ready maybe might catch me doing the odd stall uh, but I would much rather do that today than go out and jog in the mud so with that, I'm going to let you go. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. I don't know how you could have. It was kind of a crappy week, wasn't it? Weather-wise, racing-wise, uh, we just never got a chance to. And in even further to that, today would be the day that we'd be training up the horses that are in Wednesday, right? Can't get on the track. So Walter's keepsake, going to be a little short. What a mission. I'm not too worried about him being short, but and Walter's raced quite a bit too. So I guess if you're going to pick two horses out of the barn to race on Wednesday without being able to train them on Saturday... I guess those would be the two. Um, and then Monday we can train our horses up for Thursday, Friday, etc. So we'll do the best we can to get back on track. But this weather is really uh, throwing a monkey wrench in everything and, and uh, really just sucked all around. So we'll see if we can get things back on track and um, get things moving. And uh, hopefully in the very near future uh, we can start talking about some winners again. So with that, I'll let you go. You guys... Uh, it sucks out. If you're anywhere near me and likely Ontario, just stay home and wait for football. <laughs> I guess it's the best way to do it. And cheer on Three Point Blue Chip tonight. Good luck to him, uh, Tom, and everybody associated with him and Team Miller. Um, eager to see uh, repeats. Uh, I guess it goes without saying I should I should mention that uh, Locatelli and Texan Soprano won last week. Uh, we'll do that in the videos. Let's go back and watch the replays. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>